to get back to our sailing home, but first we make a stop at an agriculture farm which is also this very nice Airbnb run by two brothers. We learn about aqua planning engineering from ages ago, we get time to rest and enjoy Levanto, a very special place for Karen, and we get to see an old monastery. And after some blissful days of rest, we continue our journey towards the ferry in Bari, Italy, and we take out Evander for the first time across the sea. The perfect moment to reveal our sailing plans for 2022. And to be honest, we could really use your help. So join us in this last lap towards our sailing home. Lily is a rig. Levanto is a very special place for me because 16 years ago I just survived cancer and I made a promise to my previous girlfriend. I told her so if I can stitch my, my leases on my shoes because I had three surgeries and a lot of chemo, then we will go to Levanto and we had an amazing time over here. And now I'm here back after 16 years together with Rihanna, together with Benjamin, show them around and we found this beautiful uh, Airbnb. It's good to be back. Benjamin, let's get some ice cream, right? Yeah. Yes, let's get some ice cream. Take it back. Mm, chocolate, right? So at this place, when I survived my cancer and spent some nice time over here to feel life again. Benjamin, come. Come. I have to catch Benjamin. Okay, I will share the story with you later when we are back at the, yeah. at the Airbnb because Benjamin is getting tired after eating ice cream he's getting tired message from Emmanuel, one of the owners of the, um, yeah, the property here. They are two brothers and they are doing something with olive oil and wine and he wants to show me the property. So uh, I said, yes, of course, let's have a look. He told me yesterday all, a little bit, the family is living over there. Ciao, Emmanuel. Ciao, welcome. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. So okay. you're gonna show me around? Yeah, here you can see we have uh, our olive grove. Okay. While uh, on this side uh, we are planting uh, the new vineyard. Yes. And then uh, going up on the hill, uh, close to the house, we have more olives, uh, orange trees. While uh, up here we planted some fruit trees and we have uh, more olives. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. And this is a family business, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. No. So it's uh, me and my older brother. We okay. are uh, restoring a bit the, the fields and also well, the house uh, and building up the tents. It's a very old property. Uh, it it uh, belonged to my grandma. Okay. And it was bought by her great grandma. <laughs> so, wow. So since uh, the beginning of the 20th century. And uh, the house down there that we rent used to be the farmer's house. Okay. And they used to, to manage all, all the 
cultivation uh, in the in the fields. And now you have to do it yourself. And now we are doing it <laughs> ourselves. Ba back to the <laughs> to the lands. <laughs> yeah. So for the near future, the plan is to finish uh, to plant the new cultivation as fruit trees, the vines, uh, and also the aromatic plants. And then uh, to restore little by little all the terraces walls. Yeah. Because here uh, the um, the fields are all made on terraces, and um, that's uh, the biggest work. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> because they are made just with stone and uh, and 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 ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Without any concrete and stuff, as they used to do many B back many, in the days. Yeah. <laughs> Wow! Yeah, and here it's um, typical from here, uh, from Levanto, the surrounding, and also in Cinque Terre. And then we we are going to expand also our hospitality with uh, the glamping tents. Okay. And uh, little by little, we add some more. So you have the the farmer house where yeah. we are where we are staying now. Yeah, exactly. And, and then you have to you want to establish some glamping tents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More uh, up the hill. Up here. Okay. And uh, and then we are going to add some services with the product uh, we are going to produce, uh, like the wine, the oil. Uh, we are going to start with uh, some tastings. Okay. Of uh, um, we already produce a liquor made of myrtle. Okay. That is a spontaneous plant we have here, typical of the Mediterranean uh, scrub. Okay. And uh, we also produce a gin that it gin yeah that, wow that it's always uh, aromatized with uh, the myrtle yeah and uh, so we are going to start to do some tasting with that pairing it with uh, some snacks and food okay uh, also from our garden and and stuff and then uh, I hope in some year we'll be able to start uh, doing also some uh, some real cooking okay so for lunch and dinner always for the guests yeah and also for uh, the people coming outside. Wow, so yeah. that's a big plan, that's a family plan, right? Yeah, 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 it and, is. And everything together with your brother? Yeah, with my brother, and uh, we are uh, actually five brothers. Ah, so okay. So the, the younger two, they're, uh, they're still uh, studying and deciding what to do, but they always help us a lot here, yeah. so we have uh, a lot of manpower. <laughs> yes, five strong brothers, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, and some good friends. And some good friends as well, like <laughs> Ruben. <laughs> That's uh, the plan for the moment. Yes, and you fence it around, right? Yeah, yeah. We build this fence uh, to protect the production from uh, the wild pigs in particular, and uh, also we have uh, deers uh, that. Uh, ah. Th that the they got a taste as yeah. well. <laughs> they <laughs> do some tastings as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and. Uh, and then we, we started to do all of that uh, thanks to the European school. Okay. And uh, so we got financed uh, the equipment to, to work the land and okay. also, for example, the fence and, uh, and the new cultivation we are adding. So hi Giovanni. Yeah. So you're the older brother? Yeah, I'm the older one. Great. We were just talking about surfing, right? Yeah. And you were just explaining this this co this place is? Levanto. 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 That is one of the best uh, surfing spots in Italy. Okay. And uh, where the, when the conditions are good, you have big wave till three meter, four meter. Wow. And uh, it's quite famous in Italy for surf. Yeah. And uh, what, what kind of wind do you need? Yeah, the, the the wind that comes from from south. Yeah, and it comes straight to the the, the Gulf of Levanto, the, the the bay. Yeah, and uh, during the winter is is quite normal to have big big waves. And then and, you go out. And go out, yeah. And in the summer time is uh, is smaller usually, but it's fun also also fun, and you have a, a beach break. And also some spot with the reef, with uh, rocks. Uh, okay. Uh, so you have different kind of waves, and uh, it's nice. <laughs> okay. So one of the most uh, unique thing uh, of this property, it's uh, is its, its history, because uh, in the first place it used to be a monastery, so all the terraces. Uh, 
and the walls of the fields that are the Muretti a Secco were built by, by these monks who used okay. to live here and to, pro, pro, and to cultivate all the lands and uh, now I, I will take you up there uh, there is this uh, very unique thing that is a huge pool collecting the water from a spring up, up on the hill okay and uh, it was uh, all studied to to irrigate all the fields uh, till the, the the farmer's house down there okay and it's all uh, made, made with gravity because the, there used to be a big canal that uh, cut it uh, all the terraces to take the water everywhere okay and, uh, and irrigate all the production. So this is uh, the veranda of uh, our grandma house okay. and uh, it's where we are going to do the tasting and uh, with this view on the sea and uh, this table that uh, was built by my mom and grandma with all the pieces of uh, plates and uh, Castrelle they found uh, in the fields. Okay. Well, we are going to start uh, this year with the tasting and uh, I think this uh, will be the perfect place. Man, yeah. we will come back. Yeah. We will come back. <laughs> so here we are at uh, our home where we stay and that is our grandma house. As I said before, in the first place it used to be a monastery yeah. so there used to be just uh, the little church, the chapel with uh, just one floor, just the ground floor Okay. and then uh, uh, years later it was added uh, the second floor and uh, also the tower uh, where there are all the bathrooms This is our glamping site where we are uh, where we built our first glamping tent and we are going to to build another one this year okay. hopefully for uh, ready for the season so here we have uh, a little pool that is dedicated just for uh, this tent up here while at the end of the terrace here we are going to build the second one wow and what's that that's the the pool that I was telling you about. Ah, okay. It's a pool that collects the water from the mountain. Okay. There is a spring uh, up in the woods, uh, underground. Yeah. And uh, the water comes, uh, of course, from the rain, but especially from the, the excursion, excursion. Yeah. That there is between day and night. Yeah. And forming on the rocks, so there is a lot of water coming from the mountain we have uh, just here in the back yeah and uh, we collect it and we use it uh, both for the house of my grandma okay and also to irrigate the fields but not for the swimming pool not for the swimming pool <laughs> <no>. <laughs> maybe later maybe later they are creating a dream place and they are restoring the old family tradition, combining with surfing, with new technology, with hospitality, with a vineyard. I just got some liquor from them. Can't show you, but because I'm carrying the drone and I love this kind of stories. And the beauty is they traveled in a white Land Rover 110, like Lily here from, uh, from Italy all the way to Portugal, around Sicily. Their dad sold the car a couple of years ago, but they're gonna buy one back. So I'm, I'm sure. And uh, I hope to be back here in a couple of years to taste their wine, to see how everything is, uh, is evolving. But these guys, they have a plan. Look at this. I just went into the, to the old monastery to see all the, the paintings of the grandfather and yeah, I just love this. Entrepreneurial spirit. So after the electric sailing boat by two brothers, now five brothers creating another dream. 
this is how we what we call feeling the breeze. about fulfilling dreams, right? So I want to share something with you. In 2006, I was here at the exact same place. I just recovered from my cancer. After all the chemo, I didn't have hair anymore. And I told my previous girlfriend, uh, I said, if I can stitch my shoes, my shoestrings, we will go to Levanto and we will re recover there. So, uh, because after two years of, um, of all the trouble, she needed some, some relaxed time as well. So that's what we did. And at that very moment in the pool over there, and I just showed Rianne and, uh, and Benjamin today the exact place, uh, I overlooked here this uh, the Mediterranean. And I told myself, so before my 40th birthday, I will start sailing around the world. And you know, most of you know the story what happened uh, in between. So here we are again, but now with Rianne and Benjamin. And uh, yeah, when we were in the Netherlands, we, uh, we talked a lot about our sailing plans because we postponed our Atlantic crossing last year. Um, yeah, so we have a new, um, a new place where we will go. Oh, so If you think, how are they filming this? I usually stay behind and film how the Land Rover is leaving. So we are leaving this beautiful place where we had a magnificent time. <laughs> Buongiorno, welcome in Tuscany. Yes. How did you sleep? Uh, not my best night, but okay. <laughs> it was cold, right? It was cold, and it's we had freezing. We had some a dog or a wolf. How oh. do you call it? Screaming like ooh! Oh! And then we woke up with all water on oh. our heads, and oh. I had to go to the toilet in the middle of the night. Oh. Yeah. Did you hear that tonight? Yeah. Yes. Yes, because it's freezing and it's on the tent and the sun is shining now. So it's it's warming up. So all the the water drops are, uh, are coming in. And I'm very happy I have my new sailing clothes. So uh, I had it a little bit warm. So I'm gonna make some eggs, some warm tea. Then we gotta hit the road because we are going to Bari. Hi Ben. I'm blonde. Is it blonde? I don't know where the blonde is. Oh yeah. What's that? Our ex. So if you ever try to do something with us, be warned. <laughs> well, I actually only once wanted to have this one when we didn't have one, and there was one when we 
parks for the night near the Hungarian and Croatian border and that was really no fun at all <laughs> but uh, yeah no just in case so you know <laughs> so you know hi oh you're gonna sit there just like daddy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> look at this this is the new fashion <laughs> We have this Helly Hansen winter coat for skiing or something like that. Then we have this beautiful inner trousers for sailing. <laughs> and then we have this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> nice and shiny again. Ready for Tuscany for some uh, scenery driving before we hit the, the motorway all the way down to Rome, Naples. Is it? Something. Something like that. Just yeah. going south, right? Yes. Okay, come on. <laughs> Benjamin, it's freezing cold as a cold wind. But the view is breathtaking. So looking if we can find a ferry from here, from uh, Bari to Dures, Albania. And let's see if we can find a cabin where we can sleep as well for uh, Rian and Benjamin. Come on. Ready? Benjamin. Yes. Whoa. Whoa, Benjamin. So is this your bed? Yeah. Exploring. 
in the boat. We have to find the captain, right? Should we ask for the captain? Okay, we're gonna try it. Well, here we are crossing the sea with Lily, a sea we have crossed a few times with our sailing home, but never thought we would cross with our defender. So you see, life is full of surprises and we love to be surprised. So we never set our plans in stone and let life throw us a few curveballs we love to get. But we do make them. Without a goal, chances are very high you will never get there. So we always have a rough sailing plan for the coming years. And as most of you know from our last episode, we changed our plans and by guessing you could even win a day sailing with us. So time to reveal those plans! At the end of this year or beginning next year, we will cross the Atlantic Ocean to set sail toward Patagonia. Yes, you can call us crazy, we don't like the cold, but we are mesmerized by the raw beauty and untouched nature South America has to offer. So we guessed. If we don't do it now, we will probably will never do it. But this is really an expedition for us. We are excited, but also a little bit nervous. There will be going a lot of planning into this one and we could really use your help. So if you have any suggestions around route planning, visas, upgrades of our boat, provisioning, danger sailing areas and how to navigate, or places we just have to visit and drop anchor at, we would love to hear them all in the comments below. This year we will take the time to fully prepare ourselves, probably more than we have ever done with anything in our lives. For us this is really an expedition. So the first decision we have to make is about which route to take to Patagonia. Looking at the winds, the currents and seasons we have two options with leaving the Mediterranean. The first one is to cross towards the Canary Islands, to cross the Atlantic towards Caribbean, go through the Panama Canal and then go south via Peru and Chile to get to Patagonia. And the second one is crossing to the Canary Islands and followed up by Cape Verde towards crossing the Atlantic Ocean via Brazil and then going south via Argentina to get to Patagonia and then up north via Chile towards the south of Pacific. Although we love to stay a little while in the Caribbean, we probably will choose for the second route. So what do you guys think? And yes, who knows, if we get that cold sailing fever, maybe we'll even take it a step further and cross towards Antarctica. But for now, we are crossing the Adriatic Sea with this beast of a ferry. from the Netherlands to England and uh, then we slept in this really small room next to the engine we couldn't turn ourselves so this is excellent are we sailing wow is the sun awake or is it not awake I don't think the sun is awake. Albania. We are on the bridge. Yeah, 
special is that? Yeah, it's with the captain. And they are so calm and fully in control. So, Montenegro, yes. no, almost. 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 This was a very short stop in Albania, but we just want to get home to our perfect sense. And to be honest, doing a road trip like this during this period of the year isn't probably the best thing to do. Winter time, you mean? Yes. <laughs> oh! Hey, we got this! They are running loose. Oh, they are. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Come on, come on, come on. Hey. Whoa, <laughs> yoo -hoo. And They enjoy life, right? Look at this. Woo -hoo. <laughs> whoa, whoa, left, right, left, right. So welcome back in Montenegro and to be honest it feels really like home and Benjamin and I we just spotted another piece of paradise and Ayana had to prepare the video for you regarding uh, the Atlantic crossing so she had to do the final stuff because in 10 minutes it will be live but here it is look And it's a private beach with a spring from the mountains and I just wanted to show uh, Rihanna the place because this is really stunning Final leg, but Benjamin doesn't want to come. Hey. You like it here, right? Hi, honey. Did we find our piece of paradise? Almost. Almost. Final leg, one and a half hour to go. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we go. I forgot where I left the keys so I will go first to the perfect sense to prepare her so we left I think eight weeks ago and now we are back and here she is the mooring lines are still there nothing really happened the water line is still okay so let's see No water in the boat and it smells like the perfect scent. <gasps> yes, yeah, so good to be back home. It's beautiful. And he smells so great. It is the smell of the perfect scent, yes, right? Yes, yes. You always, if you live here, you, you forget the smell, you don't smell it anymore. But then when you come back, when you've been away for a while, it's really so special. Yes, and? Yes, my avocado tree is growing! <laughs> So good to be back on the boat. 
So we're gonna wash the boat today and then we're going for a sunset sail. Mm -hmm. 